Hey everyone, Ariel Adams here with the blog to watch. Please subscribe to our videos on YouTube and like this video if you find it useful. This is a review of the Eterna Super Contiki. This is a historic name that has come back uh, for several watches and this is the most recent of the Super Contikis um, that Eterna has made. Today the Super Contiki is actually sort of their entry level dive watch. Um, they have a whole range of models with in-house movements and some without in-house movements. And while I don't think from a price perspective the Super Contiki is the absolute entry point, um, with a price of under $2,000, uh, this is definitely something that, that is meant to be um, more entry level and, and, and interesting for consumers looking for just a good overall Swiss made product. The Super Contiki in this form is pretty big. It's about 46 or 47 millimeters wide and it, makes, it looks even bigger because of this sort of tonneau style case. So I'll put it on on my, uh, my wrist here and you'll see how it sits pretty largely but because the lug structures aren't that long it wears uh, it wears pretty well at, as a larger timepiece. Um, I like the steel case has some uh, brushed elements here, some polished elements. I think they did a good job on finishing and making this sort of tonneau style uh, dial look very interesting. The, be the rotating bezel has an aluminum insert and feels a little bit sort of on the old school uh, side of things. I wouldn't call this the most modern of uh, of dive watches available right now, even though this is a new model. So it's I guess it's sort of retro in a couple of ways, right? So there's there's a couple of things missing. Like you don't have, for example, a uh, like a, a ceramic or a sapphire uh, insert. You have aluminum, but it adds a certain look to it that I think a lot of people like. You have, of course, this uh, mesh metal bracelet, which is something that also has sort of a, a vintage style to it. And the dial, again, is very simple. Um, it's attractive, it's useful, but there's definitely um, sort of an, an, an older look to it, which again, a lot of people like. Uh, the Super Contiki is water is in the 200 meters, so it's not like the most professional, professional dive watches, but 200 meters, this will satisfy the needs of 90% of people. I like the sound that the bezel makes. It's got a nice sort of like click to it. Not sure if you can hear that. Not necessarily the most like solid, solid thunk, 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 but it has a nice sort of purposeful feel to it, and it's pretty and it's pretty steady and solid, um, which I definitely like. There isn't, however, luminant on the pip there. You have sort of just a gold color for the arrow. Um, some people definitely want lume there. Other people not too concerned uh, about that. If you look at the watch itself, you have a lot of a lot of interesting details here. The back, you have sort of the uh, the Contiki uh, boat sort of uh, from the history there that is where the Contiki name came from. Um, the, the case back looks okay. There's a couple of elements that are sort of just sort of basically laser engraved here. Some of this text um, around the side looks a little bit basic, um, but then you do have these nicer parts here in relief of the boat as well as the Eterna name. Uh, this bracelet, this is a German made bracelet. Um, in Germany it makes some of the finest mesh metal bracelets, especially for the price. So I have to say, I'm typically not a huge fan of mesh metal bracelets, but I like this one a lot. One of the reasons I like it is you don't have to like resize it at all. It has an excess piece that, that tucks underneath with the folding deployment, which means you can get a perfect size um, any, 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 anywhere you want because there's no spaces along the, the strap to, to size it. It's just wherever you want, kind of like a belt or, or these types of belts with a little torsion uh, clip right here that you can tighten wherever you want. So you can get the exact fit you want, um, which is very, very nice, like I said. And again, you can get the Super Contiki on um, various straps. I think there's a couple leather strap options. Um, there's even different dial versions. There's one that has, instead of the sort of white color luminate, more like uh, vintage cream color for, again, a little bit more of a vintage look. But for me, this is the most sort of good all around of the Super Contikis. Inside the watch is um, a Salita SW200, which is essentially their version of the ETA 2824. So you just have a, uh, you have a, a standard, but a reliable um, Swiss made automatic movement inside of the Super Contiki. I like that the date is placed there at six o'clock. So you have a nice symmetrical dial. So comfortable, reasonably attractive, no nonsense. It's sort of a good throwback dive watch that's what i'll call it that's you know made today with a look from the past um, and at the price of what is 1900 uh, swiss francs i think that you have a nice overall package um, for what you're getting and that's a little bit less money um, on the strap as opposed to the bracelet but i think that something like this is uniquely well suited to a bracelet like i said i believe that these mesh metal bracelets are a bit of an acquired taste but i think that it looks really well with the Eterna super contiki and you can see the full review on the blog to watch thanks